What is up and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited because we're talking about my amazing Instagram grid template that I'm gonna give to you for free in this video that's gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to scheduling and planning Instagram posts. So this is a template I created, I've been using for years. Uh, it's really robust and you'll be able to use it whether you're a total beginner and you're just trying to spruce up your feet a little bit or you wanna do some really cool and really advanced stuff. It's perfect for everybody. And so I'm really excited for you to get your hands on it um, but before we do that, I want to encourage you real quick. I know that with, with social media, it's like can be really difficult to feel like you can finally get a handle on it. Uh, no pun intended. But I just wanted to encourage you to keep trying. And when it comes to learning something new, a new skill, a new program, a new way of doing things, you're going to have moments where you feel discouraged and you don't want to keep going. And so my encouragement to you is to find a why statement. Like, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why do I want to learn Photoshop? Why is it important that I learn to use social media for marketing, whatever your reason is, and come up with a why statement of why you're doing it. So whenever you feel down and discouraged, you can just pull out that why statement and say, oh yeah, this is why I'm doing it. And it'll give you what you need to keep going. So that's my encouragement for today. Hope that helps you. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so when you download the files, you'll have two files that we're getting here along with some images. The two files are this one, which is an Earth Tones example. So I've just basically put together some images to give as an example for a feed uh, so you can follow along and really learn um, as we go. And the other one is the actual empty template, which you can just use if you know what you're doing, or you feel comfortable and you wanna just dive right in with your own content. So for now, we're gonna follow along here and I'm gonna show you all the different options within this template. It's really useful and so I hope that it's helpful to you. So in your planning, you have our dates and titles. And so you can name which kind of post you wanna do. So if you're planning out, in this case, it's like we have all these workspace posts. This doesn't really mean anything, but they're just pictures of a workspace where you could work. So say you wanted to schedule out your post, you can do all of the names before you even find photos. You can just kind of plan out what you want your content to be. You can also do the dates and the day of the week. I also have an option for captions. Maybe you're the only person in your organization doing social media. You're doing the design, you're doing the copywriting, all of it, I've been there. And so if you wanna have everything live in one spot, you could even just type your captions right here in Photoshop. Maybe not the most efficient way because Photoshop doesn't have spell check, so be careful. But if it's helpful for you, I wanted to include it anyway. All right, we're gonna come back to overlays. I'm gonna talk about posts and post linked. So basically what you need to know is that if you are comfortable with Photoshop, you want more control, um, you wanna do some kind of crazy things, which I'll talk about in other videos regarding this template, you would use posts. If you wanna just go real easy and just drop in images, post linked is the way to go because it's so, so simple. And I'm gonna show you in just a moment how it's so amazing and you'll love it. All right, I'm gonna turn post off for a minute and off planning. And down here we have layout theme. So for me, you'll see within the posts that I have dark images and light images. So I kind of sometimes will checkerboard uh, my Instagram feeds. It could just be a cool way to bring some, some variety and consistency to the feed. Um, another option if you're looking at these layouts is you could do vertical. So maybe you wanna do dark photos here and then medium tone and then light and you know, these are up to you. You don't have to use these, but these are sometimes helpful for me. Um, and then the background, you can change the color of your background if you want, or you can also add uh, color, add like pictures or even gradients, like if you wanna get really crazy. But again, we'll talk about all that stuff in a different video. So what I'm gonna look at here is in our posts, I wanna go ahead and add some new posts in. And so if you download the images, um, these are from Unsplash, they don't belong to me. Um, but if you want to download these, you can follow along. So really, this is, crazy. This is how simple this is. Literally just drag and place it right on top where I want it to be. So simple. And then I can kind of move it into the framing that I like. Great. Going to go back and add my next one. Going to keep doing this. It just does not get more simple than this. So when you know what photos you want to use, or if you're trying to arrange your content a certain way, you can just drag your photos in from Finder, or you can place them um, using the Photoshop commands. So I'm gonna do a few things here. If I double click here, I can adjust where the image sits. I can scale it up if I want to. Um, and whatever you get it like here is how it's gonna export whenever you actually bring it to Instagram, which I'll show you in a second. So right now I'm just gonna tweak a few of these things. Double click, oops, what's it doing? Double click. Let's do that. 
and that looks good. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to use the overlays, which is really important. So overlays is gonna help you make sure that all of your posts feel consistent visually and with your colors. So I added a few basic, basic filters in here. Please create your own, because that'll give you your own look and feel. So a warm filter, this adds kind of a warm shade, kind of these warm reds and oranges to everything. Just kind of slaps it on top of all the posts. You also have faded. So if you wanna kind of have all of your posts have that faded film look, um, this will do it automatically. And then I also did something called a warm boost. So you see how this blue right here in the background, it's, it, I don't see any more blue on my feed. So that's kind of out of place. So this warm boost one, it actually tones down all my cool colors and brightens all of my, um, all of my warm colors. So there's a lot of different ways you can do these things and you can use these adjustment layers uh, to do all kind of fun stuff. But this is a helpful way to make sure that everything on your feed is gonna look and feel really consistent, which is really great. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is show you how to actually export these posts. So there's a few different ways. Um, and what I, you can do is going over here to your posts under the post linked. Um, the easiest way to do it is really just gonna be to rename these. So say I want to have this cactus one. I've selected it, you can see it's right there. Then I'll just click on this and type cactus, pretty easy. And then I can just right click and export it as a PNG and it'll automatically just export at the perfect size. These are all set to 1080 by 1080, which is the size you want for Instagram. Um, and that's all you need to do. You can even select them in bulk. So if I have, you know, this is a workspace, this is a chair. I don't know why there's so many pictures of chairs um, on Unsplash, coffee, and then a table. I could actually select all of these right click and export as PNG. So it's just so simple and so easy to use, which is really awesome. And I'm really excited to see what you guys do with it. I'm gonna make some more videos about how to do even cooler things like things for IGTV previews, also doing things for sliders, um, how to make some really complex stuff. Like if you look at my Instagram, I'm doing a lot where things are overlapping from one post to another, which that gets really crazy. But I'm gonna show you the complex ways to do it in a future video, but I wanted to give you the simple way to do it here uh, and hope that it's really helpful. So this has been a huge help for me as I've been planning social media. It's just made my life so much easier um, and really made my grid feel super consistent and so if you like the template, let me know if there's things that you'd like to have added to it. Uh, I may be interested in, you know, trying to add some of those different things, depends on how compl complicated it may be. But yeah, that's how I use this Instagram template and I hope that it helps you become an Instagram master as well.